Congratulations. You closed on your home. You did it. Congratulations. So now what? So, uh, there are some things you need to be aware of immediately after you close down your home, like actually within the first couple of months of you living in the home. So I'm going to share with you five things that you need to know. Let's get started. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jackie Baker. I'm a realtor in Northern New Jersey and I serve the Bergen County area. And I am here with your dose of real estate reality. So if you want to learn about all things real estate and things about New Jersey and Bergen County, New Jersey, you have come to the right place. So could you do me a favor? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell. Thanks. So here you are, you're in your new home. After all of that stress of winning the bidding war, because I'm sure that if you're in your house right now, you got there because you had the winning offer the way this market is these days. So good for you. And of course, you got through the whole appraisal, if you did have an appraisal, and the whole inspection stuff that goes on. And believe me, it's stressful. I get it. So what a sense of relief that you have when you've closed, you get the keys, and now you're in your new home. Here's an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig. So I just wanted to point out some things that you need to be aware of and what things you need to look out for once you take possession of your new home. Number one, you got to watch the mail. Thanks, mailbox. We just got a letter. And don't get excited like Steve from Blue's Clues because you're going to get a lot of mail, a lot of solicitations. But the most important things you need to look for are scams. This is a bummer, man. That's... Uh... That's a bummer. Believe it or not, you're going to get a lot of scams, a lot of letters asking for you to send money to get a copy of your deed. You don't need to do that. Your deed is going to be sent to you once it's recorded with the county and you'll get your own copies. So when you see a letter come through saying, hey, for 99 bucks, you can get your deed, throw that out. That's not important. You're also just going to get like, just uh, again, solicitation after solicitation. But the most important thing is to just be careful with those scam letters. You'll even get letters from banks asking you if you want to refinance. I mean, you just closed. Why? Why, Why would they send you that. So just be on the lookout for a lot of mail and just be aware of the possible scams that you'll get. Number two, more than likely your loan is going to be sold within a few months after you close. So the person who originated your loan, that's not going to be who you're ma making your monthly payments to. Unless you went with a big bank, like say Bank of America, Wells Fargo, if you went with a mortgage broker, that loan is going to be more than likely be sold. Okay. So we're going back to the mail again. So one thing you do want to be on the lookout is a letter from your new loan servicer. You're going to get a notice in the mail saying that they're the ones who have taken over your loan and you need to be making your mortgage payments to them. And if you want to verify that call your loan originator to verify that the loan had been sold and to whom. And like I said, you'll usually get this within the first month or two after you close. And if you want to just stay on top of it, if you don't get anything in the mail within the first month, contact your loan originator just to see if the loan was sold. And th this way, you know, to look out for it. So that's one thing. Just keep that in mind. Stay on top of that and be on the lookout for that notice that your loan had been sold. So, you know, where to send the mortgage payments to. Thanks for the heads up. Number three, you're going to need the names of plumbers, landscapers, HVAC people, all that fun stuff. So you can contact the previous owner or maybe prior to closing, the previous owner can share with you all of those names of people that they have used when they lived in the home. Oh. So I just want to share with you an example. This is a letter. When we moved in here 10 years ago, this letter was left here in our house for us from the prior owners. Three pages. No joke. <laughs> three pages. 
And it was a detailed letter going from the heating and cooling, how to use the alarm system, like all great stuff in here, like telling us where the water filter was installed from, who installed their gas fireplace so we knew which company to call should anything go wrong with it, who the landscaper was, pest control, like who does that? Who does that? Our prior owners who are now our good friends, Patty and Ed. Thank you, Patty and Ed. You guys are amazing. And yes, we are good friends with the prior owners. They actually live right down the street from us. They bought another house in the same neighborhood. And um, yeah, how lucky are we? That was really cool. That is so cool. As soon as you get into your house, those are important names and numbers you are going to need to have. God forbid something happens within you know, the first couple of months. Cause you know, you never know you're in a house. Now you got to stay on top of this. If you've been renting before, no more landlord to take care of it. It's up to you now. Number four, change your locks. Don't forget to change the locks on all the doors in your house, the front door, the back door. Yeah. Change them because Look, are the prior owners going to come back and stalk you and, and rob you? Probably not, but I, it's just a good idea to get that done right away. Look, I know it's crazy. You move and all these things are running through your head of things you need to get done. Make that a priority. Make sure you get those locks changed. And number five, if there were any items that came up in home inspection that you decided to you know not make a big deal about or the seller had opted not to make that repair, get on top of that right away. Because if it was something that was, it was minor, but it could lead to something bigger, get on top of that immediately. You don't want to let that go. So go through that inspection list after you move in and just take care of all those things that the seller did not address or that you just decided to say, oh, we'll take care of that ourselves. Very, very important. So enjoy your new home and I wish you many, many years and many memories in your new house. Hey, if you want to watch another video about just real estate stuff in general, you can go look at this one over here. I think you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching me today. I'm Jackie Baker with Coldwell Banker Realty and I will see you next time.